Now, the best shift was 3 to 11. They sleep late and go out after work. And I usually stop in at one of those joints in the Heights for a quick drink just to get me started. Then I'd head for Allentown or Easton. Well, except on Saturday or Sunday, I hit one of the local clubs. Yeah, I always had something special on weekends. Yeah, it could be the Hungarian Club, Windish Hall, whatever. Uh, my favorite was the Holy Ghost. Yeah, you remember the Holy Ghost Beneficial Society? Yeah, it seems like the Holy Ghost had a younger crowd and better looking girls. Oh, I like the Mexican Club, too. <laughs> Most beautiful women i ever seen. As if you couldn't get the first base with them. Too clannish, I guess. You know, uh, I had one in my high school English class uh, named Rosa. <laughs> yeah, you know, one of these girls knew all the answers. And whenever no one else knew the answer, the teacher used to say, Okay, Rosa. She was always right. Well, I got to admit, she was really beautiful. Perfect. You see, what I used to do, Jonas, whenever I seen a perfect part was, well, uh, I'd find something on them that wasn't perfect, and I'd zero in on that. Yeah, pretty soon they'd stop being so desirable. Well, like once there was this girl who was perfect, but she had this birthmark on her leg. So uh, I just think of that ugly mark instead of how beautiful she was. <laughs> I mean, hell, I knew they wouldn't go out with me, <laughs> me being a farmer and all. Anyways, made me feel better. But this Rosa, man, I couldn't find anything wrong with her. Face perfect, nose just right, eyes, <laughs> well, you know Spanish eyes, skin the color of honey. Hey, maybe she has thick ankles, hell no. Bird mark, no way. Uh, what about her chest? Uh, maybe her tits are too small or uh, too big? Perfect. And her hair, Janos. You remember when you were a kid and everybody burned coal during the winter and, and you'd wake up real early to the sound of coal coming down the chute? So you walk over to the window and uh, wipe the frost off and there'd be snow on the ground and the sun be shining and you, you watch that coal coming down the chute and it sparkled so bright that it hurt your eyes. Well, since I couldn't find anything wrong with her, I had to ask her out. Anyways, these couple of guys I knew were having this dance over the DAR house. I figured she'd feel safe there, you know, because there was always a bunch of old broads hanging around, <laughs> making sure you didn't pat their daughter on the ass. Hello, Rosa. This is Carl. <laughs> Carl Yoder. <laughs> uh, I'm in your English class. Say, look, Rosa, they're having this dance over at the DAR house Saturday night. I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. Well, nice talking to you. So for the rest of the year, I had to sit in that goddamn English class and look at Miss Perkins. I never did like English anyhow. I tried to tell us something we could use, like uh, Russian or Japanese. 